I'm Brandon Kokenauer, uh, and I am a retention candidate with the SMART program. I'm just finishing up uh, my first year with the program. I'm a PhD student in electrical engineering at uh, North Carolina State. Um, and uh, before uh, joining the SMART program, I spent about four or five years uh, with the uh, Naval Air Warfare Center in Patuxent River, Maryland. The group uh, that I was involved with, or that I'm still involved with there, um, is sort of a, a basic sciences and engineering and research and development group. Um, so just kind of being involved uh, with, uh, in that kind of area and that kind of focus. Um, I think it was probably after the, the first year that the SMART program had, had started, um, word had started to get out that you know, this program was available. Uh, so the, the group uh, that I work with at, at Pax River um, is uh, an electro-optics uh, sensors group. Um, so we develop uh, laser systems and uh, optical systems to do uh, remote sensing um, in the ocean. Um, we we'll, can also do imaging, communications, um, detection, um, things of this nature. So, uh, you know, the, the RF world, the radio frequency world that we've become so used to with like cell phones and televisions and et cetera, et cetera. Um, all of that technology um, almost doesn't work underwater because the radio frequencies, once you go into the water, uh, just don't propagate as well. Um, over certain optical uh, frequencies do. Um, so we look at um, how can we exploit that? How can we uh, merge the two technologies? Um, just fundamental, how does light propagate through water? Um, and understanding sort of the science behind it um, so we can then develop uh, the optimum sensor for a given scenario. So there are, are certainly applications in uh, imaging underwater. Um, certainly applications in uh, wireless communications underwater to be able to communicate wirelessly like we do you know on land um, is, is certainly a, a worthwhile application uh, but in order to do all that there's a lot of characterization of well we put a laser in water in, in different scenarios and different water type what is it going to do um, and then understanding just sort of the basic science and, and how that works and then how we can tailor to do what we want or um, how we can perhaps expect uh, that system to perform uh, given what we know about uh, the environment. That's a good question. Uh, you, you know, as, a, um, as a, a civilian engineer with the Navy already, um, I, I would probably definitely say I, I would still be an engineer uh, you know, with the Navy. Uh, the technology and the science and the people that I've gotten to, to work with um, have, have been great. Um, and, uh, you know, you don't, when you graduate as an undergrad, sometimes you don't really know what the heck you're getting into. Uh, you know you like your major, and you like being an engineer, but you don't really know what that means. Um, and then you get out and you do it and you go, oh, hey, you know, this. This stuff is, is pretty cool. Um, and so, you know, I, I would certainly still probably, you know, be, be doing what I was doing, but as we kind of talked before, it's, it's definitely those experiences that drew me to the SMART program and said, hey, you know, I'm, I don't plan on going anywhere uh, for a while. Um, this is a great opportunity for, for me to go back and, and continue my education. Definitely the, the transition from uh, being a full-time employee to being a full-time student is, is not a trivial one. Um, but uh, just because of the way the SMART program is, has been set up uh, where you know, I have that support of, of my, my home base um, while I'm, I'm going to school and taking courses full-time. Um, having that support structure there on, on both sides, both from uh, you know, the government side and the academic side, um, 
has been great and really made things a lot easier in terms of, of making that transition. Opportunistic. Um, having the opportunity to, to go back to school as a full-time student like this um, with that support structure like I said already in place um, from the, the job that I had before with the government um, being able to work on the same technology I mean there's it's it's a no-brainer um, an opportunity like that uh, comes along and, and I had to take it do it do it. <laughs> um, you know, there's, I, I don't know of any better, other better way um, to, to be able to pursue a, a graduate degree um, and have uh, a great job where you get to work on uh, some great whiz-bang stuff. Um, uh, do it.